What is going on? I'm Des with DesFit, and today I want to show you probably one of the cheapest, quickest, and easiest ways to get set up on Zwift in less than 10 minutes. So Zwift used to take a pretty powerful computer to run it, since it is, in essence, a 3D game environment. But now that Zwift is available on the iPhone as well as the iPads, it's opened up the availability massively and also made the setup process extremely easy without having to have a computer nor cables. If you don't know what Zwift is, it's an online platform for cyclists that allows you to ride in a 3D game-like environment where there's a huge online community of cyclists that you can ride with and against. It's great because it simulates riding in some cool locations along with other riders and it's much better and more motivating than watching House of Cards. Now this is an absolute bare bones setup and there are many, many things that you can do to upgrade your experience, which I'll cover in some follow-up episodes, but let's just get this basic setup up and running. The first thing you're going to need is a more recent iPhone or iPad. For an iPhone, you're going to need a 5SE or newer, or an iPad that was made on or around 2015. The next thing you're going to need are some speed and cadence sensors. If you don't own any sensors yet, I would highly recommend the Wahoo RPM speed and cadence sensor since it has both Bluetooth Smart and Ant Plus, making it compatible with pretty much every device out there. So we'll be connecting these sensors to the iOS device using Bluetooth Smart, so that eliminates the need for any cables, adapters, and all of that nonsense. And if you already own Ant Plus sensors, there's a neat little device that converts Ant Plus signals to Bluetooth Smart called the NPE cable, and I'll have a link for that product in the description below. And of course, you're going to need your bike as well as your trainer. The other confusing thing about Zwift is whether you really need a smart trainer or not, and although that is by far the most ideal option, you can totally get away with a dumb trainer like this one. I got this one off of Craigslist for just $25, and just browsing Craigslist today, there are many inexpensive options for under $75 to just get you up and running. So let's first get the bike set up on the trainer with the sensors, and then we'll set up the app. Get your bike installed on the trainer and then let's mount the speed sensor to the rear hub and then attach the cadence sensor to your crank arm. With the Wahoo RPM speed and cadence sensors, they make it extremely easy to mount using a simple rubber band for the rear hub and then zip ties for the cadence sensor on the crank arm. Spin the crank arms and make sure both lights are blinking on both sensors. Now that the bike and sensors are set up, let's go ahead and open the app and get that set up. When you open the Zwift app, you're going to create a new account. Agree to the terms and then you're going to be prompted to pair your devices. Tap the speed sensor icon and your speed sensor should show up. If it doesn't, spin your crank arms again to activate it. Make sure your tire size is correct and click OK. Next, you're going to be prompted to select your trainer. Now, there's a huge list of trainers here that are designed for Zwift, but if you have a dumb trainer like this one, all you have to do is click other and not listed, or you can actually click unlisted rollers. Sometimes the cadence sensor will just automatically connect and then you will just be prompted to the start and ride screen. From here, you'll select your gender and then select your height and your weight. And then it's actually time to start riding. So now that that's all done, let's get kitted up and get our Zwift on. So that's it, a really quick and easy way to get set up on Zwift. And if this video helped remove some of that confusion, please hit that like button. Also subscribe to the channel for more advanced Zwift setups using power meters as well as smart trainers, and as well as the best at-home indoor cycling setup. Thanks for watching and maybe we'll see you in Zwiftland.